What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for oddshopper.com back again with the prize picks picks for Tuesday, April 11th. We can finally talk about real basketball games again. Good riddance to all the trash from the final week. I'm not getting that stuff right. Give me the real, real picks. That's what we've got going right now. I've got three of them for you. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live, and sign up at Chalkboard. It's a free app. It's a community. We're talking picks, whether that's prize picks or picks for at sports books. We're just hanging out, having a chat. It's a good time. We're bringing people in, and it costs you absolutely nothing. Free app on your phone, iPhone, Android, whatever you got. Link in the description. Come hang out in our chalkboard now. We're kicking it off, diving right in. Anthony Davis, over 48 and a half fantasy points. I got it at 55.6. These lines, and we're going to hit on a couple of them, aren't reconciling with what we actually have now essentially do or die scenarios. For these games, teams can lose, but they don't want to lose, which means we're consolidating the rotation. I think Anthony Davis is, barring a blowout, playing 36 minutes at a minimum and upwards of 38, 39, 40 if he has to. They don't want to mess around. They want to win this basketball game. There's no doubt in my mind. And when you start to consolidate things, you also consolidate touches and shots to your best players. That's what we're doing here. I've got Anthony Davis seven fantasy points ahead of this mark. That line is going up today. I guarantee it. Get in early while you can. This one has me a little bit more nervous, but at the same time, I feel like I have to do it. Over 25 and a half fantasy points for Clint Capella. I got it at 32. I only gave him 28 minutes. I also think Clint Capella is live for 30 plus. I assume that's the direction they want to go, but at the very least, 28 feels about right to me. Even if you wanted to go down to 26, I don't think that Clint Capella at 25 and a half is the right line. We'd still be well north of this mark. I got him projected for 32. This is a really good spot for Clint Capella. I expect him to be out there playing the real minutes. I don't think this is the spot. If they were going to go to Onyeko Okongwu for bigger minutes, I think we would have seen that more over the past month. And we just have not seen that. So I'm relying on Clint Capella's minutes here with some upside over 25 and a half fantasy points. Finally, we stay with the Hawks. Another over, over 41 and a half, sorry, over 41 fantasy points for Trey Young. I got it at 46 and a half. This is a minutes play. I don't think that 41 line is representing the way that he's going to play today in comparison to where he's been over the past few weeks. Minutes were down for Trey Young. He's playing 33, 34 minutes a night. That's gone. He's playing 36 at a minimum tonight. I think the more likely scenario is that Trey Young plays about 38 today. No reason not to. Could, could get upwards of 40 for sure. And if that's the case, we're coming over well north of 41 fantasy points. So I gave him 38 minutes. That's where I want to stand. And if he's playing 38 minutes, Trey Young's going over 41 fantasy points, or the Hawks aren't winning this game. I'm relying on Trey here. We're, we've already got Capella, Anthony Davis in the books. Three easy over, folks. This is what the card looks like. I hope you're joining me here. Tail this one. We're going to win some money tonight. It feels great. Now, we're back again tomorrow doing it all again, so make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. We out. Peace.